to come home because I had been doing a lot of Cuban dance for about 12 years on the West Coast and I was there's such strong historical and music and cultural ties between New Orleans and Cuba that I just expected that there would be a lot of Cuban dance here and when I came home I found really there are dancers here but they don't go out as much and they weren't going out as much at the time when I came home and I found really one person I could dance casino with or Cuban salsa and at some point it was like okay I'm really kind of tired of dancing with you so I guess we need to teach some other people So we started off and kind of our foundation is in Cuban dance. And when I say Cuban dance, I talk about Cuban popular dance. So casino, which some people call Cuban salsa. Uh, it's very different. Uh, it's very different but can be mistaken for, um, at the same time, what people call salsa in the United States, which is a very linear form of dance for the most part. We encounter people from South America, from Cuba, from other places who grew up dancing naturally. They tend to dance more side to side or more circular. They're not dancing in slots. Even though in Cuba you don't, you learn to dance first and then when you're really good at casino then you dance in a circle, you dance the red of the casino. Um, here we tend to do it the other way a lot, and there's a lot of debate about whether or not you should do that, but what I find and for what my goals are initially is to get, oops, is to get people dancing. That dancing in a circle, it takes the emphasis off of the self, it takes the emphasis off of even my partner, and you have the group to help you. So you can learn, you're not necessarily learning the technique and becoming a fine-tuned dancer, but you can learn a lot relatively quickly in order to be able to socialize and have fun and laugh. And um, so I tend to teach in a circle first and then start breaking it down into pairs and always going back and kind of trying to balance and building up both. Dance um, is very much another language in the sense that it's another way that we're connecting with ourself and we're connecting with other people and we're communicating, at least when we're doing social dance. So it is very much the same process. Every person you dance with, it's a different experience. So I can teach someone how to connect in general, but how that connection is going to happen and how the two people come together and connect is going to vary from dance to dance because you have the two people coming together and they're both bringing their experiences to it. I think the city also impacts the variety of people and the, the, very, the, the group that we get to bring together, but you can have someone who is a rocket scientist and someone who grew up in the Florida Projects dancing together, and it's really cool. Su bata de caja andando detrás del piano su soledad. 